here to stay. Hi there, my name is Dan and I'm so glad to have you here for this virtual recruitment event. Whether you have a graduation in your near future or you're a seasoned scientist looking to make a change, we're glad that you're here. You can expect a behind the scenes look at what life at Forge Biologics is like. I'll also share some cool videos and we'll chat with some key members of our Forge family. And throughout our program, we welcome you to ask us anything. Simply send your questions to the email below. We are looking for promising talent to grow with us. And my hope is that by the end of our program, you have a clear sense of what a career at Forge Biologics might look like for you. So to kick things off, I'll introduce you to our CEO, president and co-founder, Dr. Timothy J. Miller. What if? What if we could find a way to accelerate access to rare gene therapies for the patients that need them the most? What if we could find a way to reduce or break through the bottleneck in gene therapy manufacturing? But we didn't stop there. We got started. So in 2020, we founded Forge Biologics as a hybrid manufacturing and gene therapy development company based out of the hearth, 175,000 square foot facility based out of Columbus, Ohio, where we're able to manufacture research grade and GMP grade AAV products for clients. But we also have our own gene therapy pipeline, where we're able to have now as a clinical stage company, AAV programs to help patients in need. This gives us maximum flexibility and allows us to de-risk our business models and our pipelines, but also allows us to finance the different subsidiaries in a very structured manner so that we can monetize these assets at some point down the road. And to date, we have three subsidiaries under Forge Biologics Holdings. We have a subsidiary focused on CNS disorders, our wholly owned subsidiary is a contract developer manufacturer, and another subsidiary focused on AAV programs for pediatric diseases. To do that, we assembled a world-class team of gene therapy experts from multiple gene therapy companies from around the country. We started off with a question, what if? And I'll leave you with, what now? Come forge ahead with us. I'm here with our co-founder and VP of product development, Arandi De Silva. Arandi, welcome and thank you for starting Forge <laughs> Biologics. <laughs> You're welcome, Dan. No, we have a place to hang out. This is yeah. fun. Tell me, what is it that Forge Biologics actually does and what makes it so special? Forge is a biotech company that we started that's devoted to making a new special kind of medicine called a gene therapy. So our company is a little bit unique because not only do we have a manufacturing facility that actually develops and produces gene therapies for client companies, but we also leverage and use that manufacturing capability to produce our own therapeutic pipeline. So instead of just making therapies for other companies, we are also developing our own therapies, in which house. we can control the timelines of and manufacture. Exactly. And hopefully, the idea is that we will bring those medicines to clinical trials and to patients faster than if we didn't have that capability on hand. It's clear you're really passionate about this stuff. Where did it all start for you? Tell us a little bit about your story. Yeah, I you know, have to say, I, from the time that I was a little girl, I have always loved science and known that I want to use science to do something meaningful with my life. Um, I grew up in Botswana where for me, I grew up through an HIV epidemic where I saw a number of scientists, epidemiologists, healthcare professionals come into the country and really get an epidemic under control. And in recent memory, this year, we have all lived through this. We've watched how science, scientific professionals, medical professionals, epidemiologists can come in and really impact the course and trajectory of a pandemic. Mm. So. Ever since I was a little girl, when I saw that the impact of science on people's lives and the trajectory of a pandemic, I have always wanted to be a part of that and, mm. and devote my life to that. And so I hope that many young people, having seen what we just saw this past year, 
would also feel inspired mm. to pursue the same kind of um, course for their lives. Yeah. Well, now you're a PhD yourself. Yes. You've got a lot of experience under your belt. What would you say to somebody who's just getting started and maybe feels like they might not have what it takes to mm -hmm. come into such a flourishing company like Forge Biologics? I think what's so exciting about biotech in general is that it does not matter if you don't have a PhD. There are so many different kinds of jobs within this industry. We have people at all different levels, from bachelor's level to master's to PhDs, and we have people in different fields. So while you might traditionally think of biotech as mostly scientists working in a lab with very technical degrees, what you may not know is actually we have a whole breadth of jobs in a biotech company, from lawyers to communications folks right. to people who work around clinical trials, work with patients, people who work on um, IT engineering or even engineering in the lab and manufacturing products um, at scale within our, within our manufacturing facility. Mm. So there's people that cover really the gamut with, with a company like Forge. Absolutely. But job positions and titles and degrees, all that aside, tell me about the types of people, the character behind the people that work here and the type of people that we'd like to work here. What we strongly look for are people who are passionate and have a vision for what they want to do with their lives. They have to be driven by wanting to help people and to do so practically day to day with every small thing that they do in their daily lives, in their job functions here at Forge. So we seek engaged people, we seek highly driven and focused and really passionate um, people who want to make a difference in other people's lives. Mm. That's awesome. So when, when somebody does come on to the Forge team, what does that career path look like as they start from the beginning and kind of work their way up, aspiring to be the next Arandi de Silva. <laughs> I think what's so unique about joining a startup company that is rapidly growing like ours and has a very ambitious mission such as ours is that you can come in at whatever level might fit you today, but you have the opportunity to grow with us and to build this company with us. Mm. So wherever you might join us and come in, you have the opportunity to work with us to shape your future career path mm. and find your home within this organization or perhaps beyond. So as people weigh their options of what to do with their careers and their lives, as they start to build their legacy, what is it they can expect if they came to work for Forge? And what is that ultimate vision that we're all working towards? Forge was founded because we saw a problem um, that we felt that we could address with our business model. And that is, we are going to build a company that is very good at manufacturing these highly technical, complex gene therapies. And we're going to build a huge capability to do that. And on top of that, we're going to leverage all of that capability to develop and bring forward new therapies to help people. So an individual joining us today is joining a high growth company with a clear vision that understands where we are today and where we need to go. And they will be joining us as we forge our path towards this vision of building this great company. Yeah. And that to me is really exciting. Well, Rondi, thank you so much for being on today. And I can attest this is a fantastic place to work, but don't just take our word for it. Hear it from the rest of our team who live it day in and day out. Working at Forge and being a part of the Forge family is amazing. It's so nice to know that everyone supports me and we all support each other. And it's this great environment that I just thrive in. And I feel excited to work with the entire team, my family, every day. The culture here at Forge is truly the best aspect. Everyone is here to support each other and truly help each other out if there's ever need. The work is uh, challenging, it's fun, it's energizing. There's a sense that it can be done around here. There's a sense that people have your back, that somebody in the building has the answer. It's just truly a great team. Everyone loves helping each other and I know like Whenever I have a problem, I can go to either my boss or my fellow employees and can just 
I know someone will be there to help me out and help me find an answer. Everyone is funny and friendly and so passionate about what they're doing that it's impossible not to feel the same way when you come to work. Um, I also like the free coffee. That's it. That's another bonus. <laughs> Working at Forge is allowing me to develop into a significantly better scientist and a better person due to these therapies that we're bringing to families and really changing their lives. Being here at Forge actually gives you a sense of purpose. Every day you come in knowing that no matter what you're working on, at the end of the day, it's about bringing hope to families. I'm excited about my future at Forge because there are endless possibilities. To feel every day that you come to work that you could be potentially helping a kid have a chance at a normal life is, is really empowering. It's something that I'm passionate about. To have this, this family of people to collaborate with and to work with every day is just really special. Now let's meet Steven Wessel, who was recently promoted to Associate Director of Process Development during his brief time here at Forge. Steven, congratulations. Thanks, Dan. Yeah. So what would you say you do here at Forge? Other than TPS reports? <laughs> yes, other than TPS reports. So I'm in charge of all upstream process development. So that means anything involving cell lines or the production of the product itself. Our primary product, of course, being AAV gene therapies. And what is AAV gene therapy? So that's a gene therapy modality that's delivered through an AAV capsid to the patient's cells. So it delivers a gene that they're missing or they have mutated types of, uh, basically gives them a healthy copy of the gene so that it cures their disease. Okay. Now, who's the primary recipient of some of the therapies that we're manufacturing here? Uh, primarily rare diseases. Okay. So we're all very passionate about rare disease here and finding treatments for people that really don't have other options. When did you really... Uh, decide that this was the career path that you wanted to pursue or was it something that you kind of just got your feet wet and then continued down a path or how did that work and what would your guidance be for somebody who's still in school and not quite sure where they want to go and see themselves in the next few years? Sure. So uh, it was a little bit of a combination, but honestly, um, you know, what motivated me to first get in was helping people that needed treatments for diseases, you know, helping uh, sick people is something I think most people can get behind, um, and certainly it motivated me. Uh, also, like you said, applying my you know skills that I learned in undergrad, the coursework was actually relevant in terms of the biology and engineering. Um, and uh, yeah, it was just actually a very exciting field. The science is really cool. Uh, it's cutting edge right now. Biotechnology is really booming, especially gene therapy, as uh, people are hopefully aware. So. Yeah. And what makes the work that we're doing here at Forge, working in gene therapies for rare diseases, what makes that different than working at, I don't know, your sort of run of the mill company that makes research for research sake or something like that? Yeah, I would touch on a couple things. Uh, one is that I'd say our work here has a much greater chance of being highly impactful. Uh, so what you will do personally as part of a smaller company or a startup has a much greater impact on the company as a whole. And also, uh, since we're treating rare diseases that a lot of these other companies aren't seeking to make a treatment for, uh, you have a much greater chance to actually make a real impact on the patient's lives. Mm. Those are two, I'd say, big things that are special about us as a company. You know, I'd say part of the culture here, too, is we want people to grow and we want people to stick around. Yeah. So uh, there's certainly opportunities to move up and opportunities to, uh, you know, earn your way up here. Yeah. Um, but also, you know, just to learn and grow as a person and yeah. as a leader, too. Yeah, we all have recognized your personal development and your personal growth since your, uh, you started here at Forge. What can people expect along that pathway from graduating college or, or completing a degree uh, onwards and upwards as they start their career in biotech? Yeah, you know, really the sky's the limit. Uh, if you come in and just apply yourself and are willing to learn and are willing to lead uh, and be proactive, uh, and take things on, um, you know, people are receptive to that and, uh, you know, you can learn a lot in this industry and you can move up quite a ways. Now, personally, how have you experienced some of the other team members? Have you been able to learn from them and develop as a scientist yourself? Absolutely. Uh, I think a great example of this is David Dismuke, our CTO. He's very accessible, very knowledgeable. He's been in gene therapy for many, many years. Um, and he, uh, basically knows everything forwards and backwards at this point. Um, but he's really great about just letting people, you know, 
talk to him and learn from him and uh, kind of gain that expertise. So just uh, one good example. Steven, what is it that you know now that you wish you had known when you were just graduating college? Yeah, I remember one of my frustrations coming right out of college and applying for jobs was, how do you get experience uh, when you don't have experience and you require experience to do the job, right? right. Chicken or the egg situation. Right? Exactly. Yeah. Um, but the good news is, you know, Forge Biologics is one of these companies where if you're passionate about what you do, you feel like you're qualified, definitely send in your application because we're hiring entry level positions. And, you know, day one, you're gonna come in, hit the lab and start building up that uh, list of experiences to keep moving up. That's awesome. So it sounds like there's lots of opportunity for continual development, even if you're brand new, fresh out of school, that we're willing to invest in the people that come in. Absolutely. And there's internship opportunities as well. So like I said, if you're passionate, if you're interested in gene therapy or just biologics, definitely send in your application and uh, we'll look you up. Steven, thank you so much for taking the time to give us some insight into what it's like to work here at Forge Biologics. Absolutely. Happy to help. Cool. Well, the science and the patients that we have in mind when we're developing these therapies, really it's the beating heart of Forge Biologics. And leading our scientific and technical teams is a legend in the gene therapy space, Dr. David Dismuk. Here at Forge Biologics, we are aiming to create an optimized viral vector manufacturing platform for AEV gene therapy products that will accelerate projects from bench to commercial production. Forge is utilizing a closed, fully disposable single-use system from one to 500 liter in suspension bioreactors. Our production process uses a proprietary HEK ignition cell line along with our ember plasmas in a completely animal component free platform. Our Blaze Vector Manufacturing Service allows our clients to have continuity of process and seamless transitions between research and GMP. Blaze Vector has the ability to offer services from 1 to 50 liter batch sizes for use in research or toxicology studies. To increase product quality and the scalability of the manufacturing process, Forge uses a two-step column chromatography approach for purification. Our ready-to-utilize ignition cells enables our clients to reduce process development timelines and move quickly to GMP production. Forge is focused on providing the highest quality vector to our clients and leading the industry in technological advancements. Thanks for choosing Forge Biologics. We're now joined by the legend himself, Dr. David Dismuk. Forge's Chief Technical Officer. David, welcome and thank you for thank being you, here. Thank you. It's so great to have you. Tell me a little bit more about your background, your history, and what has brought you here to Forge Biologics. Uh, so my background, I'm a PhD uh, virologist by training. I um, started out uh, a little bit older graduate student. I was, had a, a degree in chemistry and did that for a number of years. Worked in a very large manufacturing facility. Got into AV and I really didn't know what I wanted to be when I grew up. I thought I would work on AV because it it doesn't have uh, any uh, bad side effects, and I thought I would work on it in an academic setting uh, at a small university. Um, and then I decided that that really wasn't the path I wanted to take, and I wanted to go to industry, and had an opportunity to go in and, and uh, start working in AAV and for making uh, GMP uh, AAV for clinical trials, and fell in love with it. And just, it fit me, what I like to do, uh, meticulous nature, uh, and always having a chance to improve uh, on what we're doing. And so sort of continuous improvement in meticulous nature. And, and then uh, probably more importantly than that, knowing that what I was doing had an, a direct impact on patient lives. Mm. What was the first time that you actually saw that direct connection between the work that you were doing in science and that impact on patients? So the first uh, trial that I did uh, was for retinal degeneration um, and causing blindness and I had the ability to make that vector and then see the results of that clinical trial. Uh, so I, I knew that I had participated and helped make that vector and to see that the patients were then having their sight back uh, was, it was an incredible experience to know that I had an, an impact in that. Now somebody starting at the very beginning and they're looking at their potential career path, what does that look like when you're just getting started? What does the trajectory look like? So yeah, I, I think that they're, this is a great field to be in. And so the advice that I got when I was going into gene therapy, I give the opposite advice, uh, every candidate that I talk to, uh, because uh, everyone who's joined, you're not just joining a company, you're joining a field. Mm -hmm. And the AEV gene therapy field, uh, gene therapy in general, cell and gene therapy, are, are just um, changing how we do treatment of, 
for patients. Uh, they're you know curative as opposed to treatments. Mm. And so um, I, I, because of that, uh, I think it's a very rapidly growing field and it's a great place to, to start a career. And I've seen a number of people start out um, and really grow their careers within gene therapy companies. It sounds like the industry as a whole has been heading in an amazing direction over yes. the past couple of decades. It's been exponential. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, it's a, for sure a great field to be in. For somebody personally who's just starting out, bring us down to that entry level operator in a, in a GMP space. What does that look like? So, yeah, I think there's a lot of opportunity in GMP, you know, uh, or in process development or in other areas of, of what we do. Um, you know, there's a lot of fun jobs, to be honest with you. Yeah. Now, how does somebody that's just getting started in the industry develop both personally and professionally when they come to Forge? Uh, usually there's a few things that we start them out with, you know, cell culture, how do you grow the cells? Mm -hmm. uh, we start out with chromatography, how you, how you purify uh, the AEV. Uh, but then we get a little more advanced into, into what we do in a running bioreactor. So you go from, a, from growing cells in a flask to growing cells in a bioreactor at one liter scale, and you go into growing cells in a bioreactor 50 liter scale, go to 500 liter scale, it, they, they advance. Right. So and it sounds like there's always a next step with the scientific yes, development, right? Yes. And well, there's, there's the work that you do, and then there's the planning and the execution of that work and, you know, career advancement within uh, execution and then uh, career advancement within uh, oversight and planning of that work. Right. So scientists coming in wouldn't necessarily be stuck in the same position. They would have an opportunity to learn and oh yeah, and experience it, different fields. It, yes. And what's I think unique about um, you know Forge and have had this at other places as well is the ability to to not sort of be in your one area, mm -hmm. and we make it very cross functional. Mm -hmm. Uh, and the ability to maybe you start in process development and then you go to product development mm. or maybe you start in, you know, uh, uh, analytics mm -hmm. and you go to a different group. Uh, there's there's abilities, you know, to to, to learn what you like uh, and find that area that excites you. In order to be the best at AAV manufacturing, we need to have the best people, the best talent. Tell us a little bit more about the type of people that we're trying to recruit here at Forge. Uh, so the people that make the you know, best workers within this environment are uh, the ones who are hardworking, uh, curious. Uh, they are looking to see what is next, um, and you know, uh, show that you know if you have a question, you say, um, "This is the way it's always been done, but does it always have to be done this way? Can we find another way or come up creative ideas?" Um, and then, you know, always knowing that the at the end of the line, there's the patient, and so. Uh, if you're if you're coming with that motivation um, and understanding that you're, you're joining a field, you're we're doing this, you know, really to help push forward new therapies uh, for ourselves and for the companies that we serve. Um, that that is a, a huge um, driver towards success. So to all the people out there that are sold now on applying to work at Forge Biologics, what's a great place to start? What's their next step? Uh, so I guess the next obvious step would be to, to, to log on to our website and to look at the, all the jobs that we have posted and see if there's a fit there that it, that it would excite them. Uh, and then, you know, we also have things posted on, on LinkedIn and other social media sites. Um, and then I would say, you know, look at a couple of papers online, look at some news about Forge uh, and see, you know, if what we're doing, which I think it would, uh, will excite them and, uh, and, 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 and just apply. Well, David, thank you so much for taking the time to give us a peek inside of uh, the inner workings of Forge Biologics and what goes on here. My pleasure. Cool. Well, there is always fun and exciting news going on here at Forge. And if you're interested in learning more, check out our website, but also check this out. With a lot of the different projects that we do, it starts with an idea. From there, we're trying to take that idea and to create it, to bring it alive. The work almost always outlasts the creator. Our approach to all of our work is a combination of 
engineering, creativity, and process, and we're taking all these things and really putting our heart and soul into a given project. One of the things I love about the craft of blacksmithing is that the joy of learning never really stops. It's a continual pursuit of mastery in what we're doing. There's this level of mastery that develops year over year. It's not just hammering metal into a shape, but it's doing it with a refinement and a goal of excellence in such a way that our customer can see it in the end product. That's our goal, that we create something that adds value and long outlasts us. I'm here now with Magdalena, our Vice President and Head of Business Development. Magdalena, welcome. Thanks, thanks for having me. Yeah, what do you do here at Forge Biologics? I run business development, so a number of things. We are a CDMO, we're a therapeutic company. So I look for really cool, exciting technologies, and I also see if we could potentially get more clients in the door so we can manufacture their drugs. That's cool. Now, what does business development look like on a day-to-day -day basis? It's a lot of things. Um, it's scouting uh, the webs, the academic institutions for potential pipeline products, um, You know, speaking to fellow colleagues to see if they know of anything new, and then having a lot of conversations with numerous people to build relationships for potential you know, pipeline products or clients that come through the door. So it's a lot of relationship building, I would say. Yeah, it sounds very relationship-centric. Yeah, exactly uh, that. Yeah. It sounds like Relationships is a big part of the work that you're doing. How has your education translated into the work that you're doing day to day now? I have an undergraduate degree, but my master's is in business. Having that that fundamental sort of backbone to understand what I'm looking for, to evaluate an opportunity, to do numerous NPV models really helps me understand the potential of maximizing any product that we bring in-house. Forge Biologics, as a biotech company, we're based out of Grove City, Ohio, but. Yeah. That's not where you're from. No, no, no. So I'm from New York. Um, you know, I moved to the city a decade ago at this point. And um, yeah, I'm based, I'm based there and I'm here every other week or so for a couple of days. Relationships internally, how does that work with, with people commuting to work? Some people need to be here. I'm sure a big question a lot of people have is, do I need to move to Ohio? to be a part of the Forge Biologics team. Yeah, so I haven't moved, uh, but in my line of work, I don't need to be in the lab. So I, I would say, for example, if your job is making the actual cell culture and uh, developing these drugs and you have to put a lab coat on, then you probably need to be here. Uh, right. But if you're more on the business side or the operation side or finance side, uh, you know, Zoom works really well, Teams works really well, and, and you sort of build that rapport online and in person every other week or so. Right. It seems like a lot of people on our team are on a couple days every other week sort of a schedule. Bring us into that space when, when we gather here at what we call the hearth, our headquarters mm -hmm. here in Grove City. What is that like? Tell us about the energy and the relationships and how that plays into the overall culture that we're building at Forge. Yeah, and, and what I would say, the overall vibe and the energy that's here when we're all here is indescribable, right? I mean, there's nothing that I feel like you can't do when you're just grabbing somebody to chat about something and grabbing a coffee and then, you know, speaking about a potential new product. I think that is, you can't describe how much, how much joy and energy that brings, um, you know, from a culture perspective, right? Yeah. Uh, but, you know, sometimes you go home and you regroup and you do a lot more work because you have all your screens up Right. And you're able to really hone in, but I think it's 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 the perspective of actually building culture when you're here, and also getting the work done when yeah. you're able to. It seems like a lot of people take that energy and that relationship building, and then they bring it home and they get a lot done. And there's maybe fewer interruptions, but they've already built that relational equity, right? Right, exactly. And that's that. It's you have to build those relationships because you never know when you're going to have to pick up the phone and call somebody and say, please help me with this or explain this to me Yeah. because you can't get it done without them. And I think, yeah, there's a beauty to Zoom and there's a beauty to having those, you know, internet relationships that you could have behind a screen, but there's nothing really as, you know, ending a long day with a cup of tea or something and right. just being like, hey, like, did we 
did we bang this out the right way? Like, and just chatting about something, you know, face to face. Right. Yeah. Now you're already very accomplished as a businesswoman, <laughs> working in the biotech and business development space. But uh, for somebody that's just starting out and they might feel a little bit overwhelmed, do I even want to be part of this industry? What would you say to somebody just getting their wings? If you already know that you're meant for so much more and you're meant to really help develop something that's so much bigger than you. And I think what people really don't realize is that we are treating rare diseases that have nothing else for them, right? We're manufacturing drugs for a lot of diseases that have nothing else for them. And it's just so much bigger than you. And I think if you let that, you know, bring that into you and realize that like, oh my God, I could grow with this. And I could potentially be a part of something that's gonna help so many people worldwide. I think, I think you should apply. And mm -hmm. I think you should sort of tr just try to take the jump because all of us are forever doubting ourselves in anything we do. Right. Same accomplished, I'm not accomplished. I still have flaws here and there, <laughs> you know? But I think you really just need to, to take that jump mm -hmm. and, and just really see the bigger picture in your future and be a part of something that, you know, is like revolutionary. There's always opportunity for more growth, regardless of how accomplished we are. Can you speak a little bit to the opportunities here at Forge and the development of the people internally? Yeah, so we actually take great pride in making sure we develop people, right? I think the next generation, it's it, what I will say, the Gen, Gen Zs, and if you, you know, even, even if you're older, I think what they bring is this, this new passion and this new energy and this new sort of next generation mental approach because they've been brought up on all these computers, right? And, right. and I think when you're able to mix all of this and you're like, wow, like I'm actually, I'm able to contribute so much rather than just, you know, being able to already how to manufacture drugs. I think you'll realize it's a, it's a dual approach. Like we're learning from you, you're learning from us, but we're all growing together and we'll invest in you because yeah. we know you're the next generation that's gonna get us there. So yeah. yeah, we take great pride in that. If you could talk to your prior self 15 years ago or whenever you got started, what do you know now that you wish you had known then? I wish I would have read the book Lean In much earlier as a woman. Lean In, <laughs> Lean in by Sheryl okay. Sandberg. She's the, she was one of the, I think, COO of Facebook or whatnot. But I think what I would say is you will always have imposter syndrome. You'll always doubt yourself. But I think if you really just, just ask the questions and don't be afraid to ask the questions, but know that pe there's people there and there's mentors around you that will really want you to succeed, just latch on to them and talk mm. to them and just, it'll help you grow, it'll help you grow. So yeah. I would say and Lean In. <laughs> It's good advice. And my experience here has been that everybody here is very positive and encouraging and not afraid of others right. developing and getting better, but really creating an environment of, of nurturing and building up people's careers. So, no, and I agree. Uh, I fully agree. Yeah. And it's great to know there's opportunities like that out so, there yeah. and to, to reach out. And uh, sometimes if you don't think you're the perfect fit, just reach out anyway. Yeah. Uh, if you feel drawn uh, on some level to what we're, it is that we're doing here. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. Well, thank you so much for taking no, the time to give us a peek behind the curtains uh, <laughs> into what it's like uh, to work here at Forge. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. I appreciate the time. Yeah. Well, for all of you watching, thank you so much for tuning in. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at the link below. And I guess that leaves one last question. You in? Only eight months after closing our Series A, we are proud to announce a $120 million Series B fundraise. It's the largest Series B in Ohio's history, and it will help us continue to expand our footprint within the gene therapy manufacturing space as we take both our therapeutic pipeline and our CDMO facility from concept to reality. Ultimately, this newest investment in Forge Biologics brings us one step closer to achieving our mission of enabling access to life-changing gene therapies and bringing them from idea into reality. What we're building here at the heart, our AAV Manufacturing Center, will long outlive any of us that are working here. For decades, the promise of gene therapy has provided hope to families around the world. And we wanted to help forge alliances with all the stakeholders from families the clients, the other manufacturers, clinical sites, and hospitals around the world to be able to provide access to novel, potentially life-saving gene therapies. What we're doing is manufacturing gene therapies for life.